what are we? What are you, what are you asking before, before you start filming? I can't tell. Oh, you can't tell. Okay. <laughs> All right. Hi there, I'm Jackie St. Cyr from Horse Today. I'm here with Steve Brown from the University of Finley. He's the director of the Western program, mm -hmm. um, and he's been here for 26 years. 26 years. So at least a couple of days. I mean, he kind of knows what's going on. Um, tell us a little about what you do here. I uh, run the the Western program. I uh, teach the sophomores. Uh, with the colt breaking. I teach the juniors who do the western riding, the cutting, the pleasure. We do a gait analysis. Uh, <clears throat> I teach a judging course for the freshmen. Mm -hmm. uh, and I <clears throat> organize all the, as far as our horse population, try to, to get as good a horse as I can. That's very cool. I know you got some really good horses at the sale mm -hmm. that had, that got run through today. We had some really good horses go through, which That's is exciting. Good horses, yeah. um, so, what's your favorite thing to do? Cutting, pole vaulting. Um, I mean, I know you've done it all. So, what do you think? You know, I, I like the cutting and the cow horse. Uh, it's uh, it's kind of an adrenaline rush. Mm -hmm. uh, so, I like that. Where do you think the horse industry has changed, especially like you being at school? Like, how do you think it's changed since you've been teaching here? Uh, you know, I think. Uh, People are looking for an all-around horse. Mm -hmm. uh, we kind of got specialized a little bit, but I think people are starting to look at uh, getting all-around horses and <clears throat> horses that they can show in one more than one event at the horse shows. Okay. So, is there any like prudent bloodlines right now that are really like doing excellent in the all-around kind of world, or is it should you just look for? You know, a, does a really good Western Pleasure horse always make a really good all-around horse? Well, you know, sometimes the the really good Western Pleasure horses might not make the great all-around horses because of they may not have enough uh, length to their stride. So I think kind of a combination uh, <clears throat> of Western and maybe uh, a hunt seat horse that maybe wasn't uh, a hunter. Mm -hmm. um, so I think those crosses are working good, mm -hmm. um, but it seems like uh, there's there's some horses that uh, there's a lot of horses in California. The bigger, uh, taller bred pleasure horses seem to be making the good all around horses. Okay, that's some good good tips for our yeah. viewers out there on if they're maybe looking for a horse to buy and right. you know getting the most for their money, especially these days. We know that it's hard to find. You know, some a horse that can do everything within a reasonable price range. Right. Um, in regards to the program, why should someone come here? I mean, I know my reasons for coming here, but if you are, say, talking to someone who's maybe never ridden a horse before, or mm -hmm. who's maybe ridden for 20 years, what do you think are some reasons they should come? Well, you know, I think <clears throat> number one is the education part, and I think that is very important. Um, and, and in the education part is that. The student matures and uh, learns to communicate. Communication is the whole key in this industry. Uh, that would be as far as the classes on campus are important, but out here we can expose you to more of the industry than a lot of other schools because of the numbers of horses that we have, the staff that we have. Um, I just don't, you know, it's just, it's just a great experience and, and I think the students can advance a lot faster mm -hmm. when they have that. I think, I was just thinking about this, with all the instructors <laughs> here, you guys probably have a couple hundred years of experience all piled yes, together. Do. So not you can't go anywhere and get no. that kind of experience, which is really exciting. Um, so what do you like to do in your free time? How do you balance like your work life? I know you're here all the time. How do you mm -hmm. balance like painting your wife's toenails? I mean, when's the last time you did that? <laughs> yeah, you know, <laughs> I, of course, most of my, uh, my hobbies are horse related. Mm -hmm. Uh, but we do, you know, I, I have two boys and, and I spend a lot, as much time as I can with them. Uh, of course, they're both in college now, so when they're home, I spend a lot of time with them. Uh, and, and obviously, I try to spend as much time with my wife as I can, but she understands. You know, she, she's seen me uh, go through uh, the program as far as being here for, for so long, and she mm -hmm. went through the program. So she understands that part, so. That's very cool. Do you have any tips for our viewers on what makes a, just a good horse, no matter what you're picking out? I mean, I know you always talk to us about swirls, and mm -hmm. you have little tips and tricks that you like yeah. to say. You know, <laughs> this one might make a good one, this one might, might not. What do you you think? know, I, I think the 
biggest thing when you're selecting a horse is, is pick a horse that is good-minded, mm -hmm. that is quiet, that is fun to be around, and and it has to be something that that you enjoy looking at. It's like buying a painting. Mm -hmm. You know, why would you buy a painting that that you don't really like? Uh, you you need to buy something that you enjoy looking at. Uh, they need to have a good temperament. Uh, they need to be comfortable to ride. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, nobody likes to ride on a horse that's real rough. Um, but uh, I think the temperament is, is the most important part. Just like with people. Just like the people. <laughs> that's why you've made it so far. That's well, right. Thank you so much for being with us today. It's so thank good you. to see you again. I All right. I miss school. Okay. <laughs> Hey there, we are the three fillies of Horse a Day. Chris, Tina, and Jackie. We would love for you to check out some more of our videos and interviews at horseadayblog.com. <laughs>